ladies and gentlemen, I'm Carolette and welcome to Clash Royale. Today i am got a few game plays, I think four or so. I've been playing Clash Royale 2 is actually with a friend, my neighbor, who's also trying to do YouTube, but he hasn't been uploading lately. But today we are facing Walter, he's using a Sparky deck with the Goblin Barrel. This first point, I was actually really annoyed because I thought I had my archers down in time, which you will see right now. But didn't distract Sparky, so he got a shot off. I got so mad then, I was like, oh my god. Especially because this is a level 7. I was like, it's like, screw you, you shouldn't have even been able to take one of my powers. I need mean, to destroy you. So that one little point got me pretty annoyed. The deck I'm using is using Dark Prince, Pump, Mega Minion, Baby Dragon, Cannon, Arrows, Archers. I don't know, but basically, that's the deck. Oh, the guards. Yeah, of course. Originally, I had goblins, but I put the guards in to be able to defend against the wizard because they can actually take a hit from the wizard, as you will soon see, I'm sure. What do I do? Oh, I'm just putting a heavy push that you can say, see, not say. What the freak, man? So, yeah, the Sparky is dangerous, but it's not impossible to stop. Very nice deck. I've been winning a lot with it. I absolutely love this deck, and I was able to come up with it for the most part. Oh my own. I'm actually going to mute my computer that way I don't have any mistakes or issues so no audio comes from it to distract me. Here I'm about to the second tower because he can't defend with that, which wasn't good enough. Obviously the pump is very useful. It's a 3.6 elixir deck, so you don't necessarily need the pump, but it tends to help quite a lot, giving me a good enough elixir advantage where it doesn't really matter what they have, what deck they have. It's just game over. And let's say the golem deck. Golem decks are really powerful. And you actually see that later in the video. But this is the match. It is over. He lost. He just can't do nothing about it now. Too strong of a push in this double elixir from Snow. Pump. Huge advantage. I got a little bit, you know, annoyed in the match, so I gave him a big old haha a few thanks for the win. Three to one. This next match is against. Victoria! This is a lot more even. He's a level 9. I'm a level 9. He's got a Wizard, Skeleton Army, Rage, a Clone Spell, a Zap, the Ice Golem, and a Log, and I believe the Electro Wizard. So he's been above this arena. So the fact that I beat him, yay! I actually played pretty nice. I was like, yes, this deck is perfect for this. Oh, by the way, if you're still watching the video at this point, please let me know by leaving a like or even a comment below. And also, if you're curious about the song, it's by John Kenza. It's called Wicked. It's from No Copyright Sound or NCS. Search them, No Copyright Music, all that stuff. They're a big channel. They provide copyright free music. Incredible. This, it's not sponsored. I'm just saying, check them out because it's good music. Don't have to pay anything for it. Just gotta give credit. So, yeah. Here I am putting down the Mega Minion though in front of the archers to help tank them so they can get a little bit of value. You can see him doing a double ice golem. It's like, okay then. <laughs> I don't think that was really worth it, but go for it. Oh, and this is actually a slightly different deck. I replaced the baby dragon with a hog rider in this battle. I was just experimenting a little bit. Still a good deck, but I think I like the original style more where I had the Big Dragon. I also think I had Zap in this variant as well instead of the Pump, so it's a bit more of a cycling deck. I don't really remember. We'll see here in a few minutes, I think. Right now I'm saving up the Elixir to build up a push. I'm trying to at least have a Mega Minion as well that I can tank with the Dark Prince a little bit. So, yep, always trying to make sure I stay low 10 Elixir so I'm constantly using it so I don't waste any. Right here I'm doing a bit of a double push to see what he will do. I put down my points, he puts down his Hog Rider, but I have the cannon to help out a little bit, but unfortunately it was too late. So I put down guards. The Hog Rider's got a little bit of swings, but he married it. My guards will be able to take out that Hog Rider. I have one of his towers, and I'm about to take his other tower. This part, I was distracted when I launched his arrow, so I was off by one tile and missed. So I was just like, oopsies. <laughs> doesn't matter though because we are going to win with about 35 seconds left. Odds are he will not be able to take two towers. So I'm going to continue pushing. He's more or less stopped at this point as well. He was just like, I can't do nothing. So I gave him good luck. Thumbs up. I didn't give him thumbs up. I gave him good luck. 
because he, 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 he wasn't a bad player, so I was able to outplay him, and I had a slightly better deck. 3 to 0. This is against Mr. Waffles. He's actually called Dev Gaming now. This is a friendly battle, so it's even playing field. He's using a deck I built for him a little bit to help him in the pack of playoffs because he's, he's been struggling with it, mostly because of the price of his deck. I'm using my tryhard deck. This is the original one, I believe, as well, so it's got the electric pump, the baby dragon. Yeah, it does. Baby dragon right there. Boom. Initially, I actually thought I was going to lose this. I thought I did beat him. So, uh, spoil it. I thought I was going to lose this because he's playing really well, forcing me to defense for pretty much an entire map. But you'll see in a little bit what happens. So, he's got a giant on my tower as well as a musketeer and archers. Can't do nothing about it. Now he's got a Skarman coming. I ain't worried about that because I got my arrows as well as my archers and all that stuff. I'm just going to like, screw it and let it be. I don't even care. Now, again, I'm in defense. Put Baby Dragon down because he has a musketeer. Take that out. Now I put on archers, I'm just like, holy crap, I actually gave him a pretty freaking good deck because I can't get out of my own base. Put down goblins, kind of a waste putting the goblins down, honestly. But, again, force me into defense. So now, I'm saving up a bit of elixir, especially since he put that tombstone in just a really weird spot. He's fairly new, well not necessarily fairly new, but he's inexperienced still. So, I mean, he's still going to make mistakes like that. So yeah, right here, fairly well played with the Skarmy, but I have arrows. So yeah, I take his tower out. Now it's one to one, so we would at least go into overtime. So I'm pretty happy with this, I'm confident. Put down my baby dragon, he put down his archers to try and counter. They more or less do the job, because the baby dragon is only going to get one shot off on the tower. Dang. Now he's got his arrows equipped, he just airs my tower for the fun of it, because it's a funny battle. So now, right here, double elixir. I'm about ready to put down another pump so I can have an elixir advantage in the Sabelle Blitzer. And this is where he begins to make his mistakes. One, he sets on 10. Two, he begins to commit to a really heavy push, but luckily my deck can beat Giant Balloon. As well as freaking Lava Loon, you know, Lava Hound and a Balloon. So, right here, I knew I had to take advantage. He has an elixir disadvantage. I have an advantage. He's at 5 while I'm at 10. Wait, I sat a little bit, probably lost one elixir. But I'm gonna actually get a crazy strong push. So strong, I knew he wouldn't build a blocker, so I gave him a big old good luck. He laughs because he knows it's, it's over. It's like, oh, well, GG. <laughs> so now with 5 seconds left, I get a 3 to 1 match. Next match, I believe, is against. Mr. Waffles, yet again, yes it is. He's still using the same deck, but I'm using my Golem deck. It's a 4.0 elixir deck, a little bit more expensive than what I usually like to use, but with Golem decks, if you get a push going, and by a push, I mean like, a, like an actual proper Golem push, it's near impossible to stop. So normally, if you get a strong Golem push going, especially if you have two Golems down, you can pretty much just say, Good luck or a good game because odds are you're gonna win. Right here, I managed to block his giant quite nicely. He puts down Skarmy, even out of Must of Valkyrie. So I was like, Bro, what are you doing? He was sitting next to me as well during his matches. So I was like, Bro, I had a Valkyrie. You can't do that. I put down my pump because, of course, with the Golden Deck, you're gonna want a pump to get a really good elixir advantage. I also have the Rage, which really helps the Golden just destroy towers as well as any other troop. He puts down his archers as well as his tombstone. Tombstone is not in a spot where he can block my golem. So I knew he had no defenses proper for the golem. So right now I'm just kind of waiting a little bit casually defending, trying to get my other troops down to support the golem like my archers. Then my Valkyrie, which I put in front of the archers to tank for the archers while the giant the golem tanks for the Valkyrie. Valkyrie takes out the Musketeer. Now they're on the tower. This is where it's just, you, you lost. You can't stop this right here, especially since I already have my other golem ready to place down. I take this tower and I spawn in my second golem. This is where it's over. You can't stop this. He is obviously, he puts down his Skarmy by the Valkyrie. Can't do nothing about him. First golem pops, but it is over. GG. Anyhow, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And until the next video, 
Goodbye.